Hey guys, so the idea for my video today is I thought I'd give you guys a real quick list of some of the things I think are worthwhile investments, which not talking about like actual investing type stuff, just more of the little items that I use pretty much every single day that I find very, very helpful that cost really not that much money, but changed my life dramatically for the better. Um, and you'll see what I mean once I get into it more, but I'll start off with my first one, which is a good refillable bottle. Um, aside from all the environmental stuff, having a refillable bottle just for me is a lot easier than like going and buying water bottles or carrying around a bunch of water bottles, especially if you drink a lot of water. For me personally, I probably drink probably close to, I can't even estimate, maybe 10, 12 cups of water a day. Um, something like that at least. So having a refillable bottle rather than using up what would be equivalent to probably at least four water bottles is very helpful to me. Um, also definitely, it's, I think it's worth it to spend the money on like a very good water bottle, not just like your $2, $5 bottle that you would grab from Walmart or ShopRite or whatever. I have one that was $15, really not that much more, but it keeps my water cold for over 24 hours. If I have ice in there, that ice will be there 24 hours later. Um, and I just think it works real well, cleans real well, all that kind of stuff. Uh, big thing with the refillable bottles, in my opinion, never put anything besides water in there. Um, definitely helps them stay a lot longer. Nothing gets gunked up. You don't have anything growing in there that shouldn't clean them regularly, all that kind of stuff. Next on my list, which is another big one for me, is having an extra like external battery. Um, I prefer the ones from Anchor. A lot of my technology stuff I get from Anchor. It's a website that connects with Amazon stuff, a company where... They sell all kinds of, especially, um, they sell high quality electronic, to specifically cell phone accessories. Sorry for stumbling over my words, but, um, the external battery, I think is a big one for me. I have one that's, uh, 13,000 mega amps, mega, whatever the unit is for batteries. Um, I believe it's mega amps, but I have a 13,000, I probably personally wouldn't go much under 10,000, especially since I have an iPad and around 10,000 is what you need to recharge an iPad fully, a full-size iPad. Um, for a phone, it probably charges my phone a good three times if I needed it. I very rarely need that. Um, I've never really used more than half the battery, but it's good to know that it's there if I need it. It's pretty light, pretty small. And then price-wise, mine was probably about 25 bucks. You can probably get it even cheaper if you happen to catch Anchor on a good deal. They do a lot of deals and uh, Black Friday stuff, all those kind of things. I know I've seen my exact charger on sale for as low as $20 kind of thing. So really not a lot of money to have like the security of knowing that you're always going to have a full charge on your phone, especially if you're the kind of person that, you know, travels a lot, not, yeah, travels, I guess is a good word, you know, flights. And if you're on long car rides and things like that and aren't necessarily able to use the car charger, it's just a really good option to have. Um, my next thing is going to be Bluetooth headphones. I prefer the big, like, over-the-ear headphones, which I think that's just more comfortable and the sound's better and all that, but Bluetooth earbuds work fine as well. Either way, you can get a pretty good pair for, again, 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Um, I've, I personally have a set of bows that I got as a Christmas present, or I'm saying Christmas even though I'm Jewish, and I'm just so used to saying that to cater other people, but I got it as a holiday present um, about probably six years ago, maybe seven years ago, something like that. And they still work fantastic. They have, I could change the pads on them and all that. Um, another great brand that's, those are Bose headphones, obviously much more expensive, probably closer to 200 bucks, but you can get a very solid pair of over here headphones again for between 30 and 50 bucks. Um, Tautronics, I know there's a great job with those kind of things. I have a lot of friends that have Tautronic headphones and specifically I would say over to your headphones but if you prefer earbuds and you're used to that kind of thing Bluetooth headphones work great don't waste your money on the Apple AirPods you can get a good pair of Bluetooth earbuds for 20 30 bucks um I have a pair from Anchor again and our great use for them is aside from cell phone accessories they do things like that headphones and all those kind of things um Anchor also has 18 month warranty I'm not a sponsor but I do use them a ton and their warranty is fantastic especially when it comes to chargers which I'm about to get into with my next thing. I, If a charger breaks in under 18 months, like it starts to have where you have a crack by the uh, end of the charger, they'll replace it for you for free. And it, it's not a hard process. I've done it a couple times. Um, definitely think it's worth it. 
sorry for adjusting my camera. But um, next thing, like I said, is a 16 foot charger by the bed specifically. Um, I think it's real nice having that extra length on the charger when you're in bed if you're the kind of person that grabs your phone in the middle of the night or even uses your phone at night, um, which I try to avoid using my phone at night. But at the very least, I usually grab my phone at least one time during the night to check the time, check my email kind of thing early in the morning. I don't want to unplug it yet. Um, the six foot charger is definitely, it's double length. Your normal charger is three feet long. So having double the length is definitely helpful for those kind of things. Um, six foot charger is also very helpful for like in the car, even though most of the time you probably, it depends, I guess who you are. Uh, six foot charger is nice to have in the car. If you have people in the back seat pretty often, my sister more so than me usually has people in her back seat of the car that because she drives her friends around and all that. So the six foot charger is nice to hand off to them rather than the three foot charger really only makes it like halfway back in the car. So if anyone in the backseat wants to charge, they're kind of abandoning their phone. Um, but the extra length on the charger, extra chargers in general, great thing. Again, Anchor does great with chargers and the deals are awesome if you catch them at the right time. Not cheap, not uh, expensive at all. You can get a good six foot charger for under 10 bucks probably. Uh, Anchor, I believe are closer to 12 if you get the real good ones, which is what I usually grab because I think they're worth the money. Um, and Apple's been using Lightning for quite a while. I can't imagine them switching for Lightning. And if they did, they'd probably go to a more generic thing like USB-C or uh, micro USB. So I think it's worth the investment. Um, a lot of electronics I know on this list, but I'm a techie kind of guy. It's what I'm used to. And these are those things that I think a lot of people think are too techie or too fancy or too expensive to buy. So that's why I'm listing them because most of these things you could probably get for under 30 bucks and get a very solid product. Um... I wanted to preface it with all this because my next thing is a terabyte. Most people consider a terabyte to be a huge, like, external hard drive kind of thing. First of all, hard drive versus soft drive. Personally, I don't think it matters much unless you're doing some heavy-duty work. In that case, if you're doing heavy-duty stuff, go with the uh, solid-state uh, drive. But for me, I have a terabyte hard drive. A terabyte, just for those of you that might not know, it goes. it's that next level up from a gigabyte. So if you have a 1,000 gigabytes, it's a terabyte. Um... I have it filled with everything I've ever done, basically. It's good for specifically things like Google Drive. Google Drive, if you have a basic Google Drive account, it holds 15 gigs. If you're getting close to filling that up, you could dump your, like, export your whole Google Drive and then throw it on a terabyte and save everything you've ever done, and then you have a fresh Google Drive. Um, I also am using it a lot for, like, school and stuff, being able to have big, bulky projects that I wouldn't normally be able to hand off very easily to like other people on their computers putting on my terabyte helps a lot with that just another one of those things again 20 30 bucks to get a good enough one a terabyte to terabyte i don't think the quality matters much besides it being solid state versus hard drive um solid state's definitely better in that respect but other than that all terabytes i'm pretty sure are basically the same i want to go for the super cheap one you could corrupt your files or whatever but i assume most of them are fine um Last thing on the techie side of things is a pointer slash clicker for the slideshows. I guess this is more relevant if you're a student or a professional that does a lot of presentations. Um, for me, especially as a student, it's come in handy for a lot. Of, I usually do at least one class with a presentation every single semester. So having the pointer slash clicker is very helpful, especially in the, it just makes things look more professional, makes transitions more smooth. Um, if it has a laser pointer, a lot of times that won't work on a PowerPoint necessarily in a class just because the light like interacts with each other and doesn't work well. But in general, for me, it's been a great help. Very, very cheap. I think I got mine for 15 bucks and mine's rechargeable, so I don't have to worry about buying new batteries all the time or anything like that. Um, it's just one of those things that stepped my game up a lot as far as presentations go, makes things look a lot smoother, cleaner. I've gotten compliments from basically any professor that notices I brought my own pointer. Um, so brownie points in that respect, but yeah, so finally, now that I'm done with kind of all the techie things, I guess I'm bookending this in a way with water and water, because my last thing is to have a nice water filter. If you don't already have like filtered water readily accessible to you, me personally at my house, technically we have filtered water, but the one from the refrigerator goes very, very slow. And the one connected to the sink, we have a filtered water thing on the sink and it just, I we probably just don't change the filter enough. My dad says he keeps track of that stuff and changes it regularly. I don't think he does. Um, 
but that's besides the point. The water filter, I'm mainly using it at school as like a dorm thing. Um, I have a lot of friends at work. They really don't have like a filter water thing. They have tap water and it's filtered, so it's not like disgusting, but it's not filtered, filtered water. I got my pure water filter and I always recommend pure over things like Brita. Brita is notoriously not the best at getting out uh, gross things in your water. Pure has been absolutely fantastic for me. I've had the same pure water filter for over four years now. Um, I think the whole thing costs maybe 30 bucks or so, 30, possibly 40 bucks, but the replacements for the filter are, I guess, maybe 10, $12 a pop, depending on how many you buy, what kind of pack, all those kind of things. And each filter has lasted me at least six months. I usually try and change mine twice a year. Sometimes I only change it once a year and it still works fine. The only thing that changes is not the quality of it filtering, but how fast it filters. So for me, it's never been an issue because I just fill it up before I leave my dorm room. And by the time I get back, it takes maybe an hour to filter, which is a long time if you're like sitting there waiting for it. But if you're leaving for the day, it really doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, definitely worthwhile investment, especially from if you're a college student, you throw it in your um, refrigerator, your mini fridge. It takes a lot of room in the mini fridge, but I think it's worth it. I uh, can just grab like a bucket of water from the bathroom. I stick a bucket under the sink and whatever tap water is coming out of the sink that you normally wouldn't drink, I throw it in my water filter and it makes it the cleanest water I've drank on campus for sure and probably overall aside from bottled water. Again, that's great pairing it with the refillable bottles. Um, so yeah, that's just a lot of these I just felt like obviously I didn't have like a huge topic I wanted to talk about, but I thought these were just things that I was looking around my room, like I wonder how many people actually have these things or took the time to invest in some of these items. Um, they just, for how little money they cost, I think they definitely make a big difference. So I'm glad I got the opportunity to share that with you and I'm gonna wrap the video up here and I'll see you all tomorrow, thanks.